Hi there! Since we launched the campaign on Kickstarter, we have received a lot of questions around the PPG technology, how it works, uh, the issues related to the reliability of the PPG signal and how our technology and especially our constellation of sensors all around the ring can help solving all of these issues. So today, Nino is going to show us a description of how the PPG works and how we can address uh, those different uh, issues using the technology uh, that we embedded in the Iris ring. Let's go. Well, let's see together how the PPG work, how the technology which is behind the Iris ring works. First of all, PPG stands for photoplegismography, which is an optoelectronic based technology and mean of assessing several vital signs, but but just shining light in the skin. So let's see together how this works. First of all, we start with an optoelectronic component, so an LED, which is shining light. Suppose this light is green. So the light, so the photons, which are actually the particles, which are carrying the light, will be interacting with the skin. In this case, the fingers, since we're talking about the ring device. The skin, so the finger consists of a lot of things, including uh, fat, muscles, but particularly the arteries that are actually carrying the blood, which is pushed by the heart throughout the whole body. What happens is that in phase with the heart pumping, with the cardiac activity, the diameter of this artery here changes, dynamically adapts over the time. So suppose that we call this thickness here, so this section, this diameter of the artery, which we call it T min, which is minimum thickness. That when a big pressure wave comes from the heart, what happens is that there will be a blast of blood that will be actually propagating through the artery. And then eventually the size, the thickness of this artery will be changing, will be moving from T min to what we call T max. So if we display this over the time, this means the following. So we can actually have T max here, T min here, and this which is maximum thickness, minimum thickness, this is actually the time. In phase with the heart pumping, basically this thickness, this diameter will be following an AC response, an oscillating response. So, now, let's see how this oscillating response moves and builds up, basically, the PPG signal. That stands to a second optoelectronic component, which is called the photodetector, which is an optoelectronic component that is basically receiving the light. So these photons that have interacted with the finger, including this oscillating diameter and the burst of blood, and are basically reflected back. So the photodetector is basically capturing these photons and converting them into an electrical signal, which is exactly the PPG signal that is processed by the application which is running on your phone. So it will be a signal that will be basically an AC oscillating frequency whose maximum here corresponds to what is called the diastolic phase of the arc, which is corresponding to the minimum thickness of the arteries, and whose minimum corresponds to the systolic phase of the arc, which is basically corresponding to the, to the largest pressure wave coming from the heart. This signal, which is called the PPG, has a given frequency, that let's call it F, PPG, which is nothing more than just the heart rate. Suppose that this frequency is one hertz, okay? This corresponds to what is called 60 BPM, 60 bits per minute, which is the physiological uh, cardiac frequency of every individual. But how do we get there? We get there thanks to the algo. So you have actually your, you basically download the data from the ring to your phone via the application that's called suppose this is actually the phone the phone the applications will basically doing this will be translating the signal into what into heart rate data 60 bits per minute into hrv data suppose 60 milliseconds for ability 
of this pick to pick spo2 in percentage of oxygen breathing rate and all the vitals including blood pressure which are directly extractable out of the ppg